All right, another day with temperatures only in the 60s, but that heat is going to start rebuilding. Let's get an idea of the timing as we head toward Memorial Day. Here's meteorologist Ray Petlin. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ken, I think I think uh, we're going to hear some air conditioners clicking on as we get towards the weekend. And we might even hear some people say it's too warm outside. But uh, let's get through this cooler stuff first. And even the showers, a little rain south of Pittsburgh, actually south of the PA border, is where we find most of this rain. And that's where it's expected to pretty much hang out tonight. But the clouds will extend up this way with only occasional breaks in those clouds. Now, it is a little gusty still, uh, 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts uh, where it is gusty. So so the, the breezy conditions are going to continue tonight and into tomorrow, and then we're going to start to put an end to that as we get into the weekend. Temperature-wise, just know normal temperatures this time of year get into the 70s. We're still in the mid-60s, 65 Pittsburgh, Cranberry, Beaver Falls, Washington, 63 in Connellsville and Greensburg, up to Catan and Clarion in Indiana. Uh, you get 64 in Franklin, 66 Waynesburg and Morgantown, 65. Now you see the clouds. Those are the darker gray areas on this map. The rain is trying to lift in from the south, but has a lot of dry air to overcome. So rain showers aren't the biggest concern for us tonight. And looking at the bigger view, you can see how these showers aren't moving in that typical direction. We're continuing with that counterclockwise twirl around an area of low pressure that's been pretty much trapped to our south. And it's going to stay there tonight and slowly drift eastward tonight into tomorrow and tomorrow into Friday. And as this happens, it's going to start to spread some of that moisture up our way. So tomorrow morning, uh, showers certainly uh, possible south of Pittsburgh. But once we get into the afternoon, we're going to start to see a few showers lift up uh, north into the city and even beyond, just know that tomorrow does not look like a washout. We're going to have just some scattered showers around. Into Friday, this is our best chance for rain. As that low starts to travel up the east coast, it's going to have a better opportunity to push some of that moisture in our direction. So some showers, and I wouldn't be surprised with a few thunderstorms trying to develop Friday, and you can see how this cycles through. But I think a lot of this activity is out of here by the time we get into the holiday weekend. And a closer view on future cash shows is what we're dealing with over the next couple days. You get those showers pushing up tomorrow morning, sub I-70 south. And then as we get into uh, Thursday evening, a few of those showers try to get up into the city and beyond. Friday is our best chance for rain as we go through the next couple of days. So tonight, 48, mostly cloudy skies, a little breezy still. And tomorrow, 68 degrees with a few showers in the afternoon. But those will arrive earlier in the day south of Pittsburgh. And through the day, you can see it's a few peaks of sunshine with mostly cloudy skies, certainly winning out as we go throughout the course of your Thursday. Friday, rain, some rumbles of thunder as well. 70 degrees there. Mid to upper 70 Saturday. 80 degrees on Sunday. And both days come with a little sunshine. However, an isolated shower thunderstorm Saturday afternoon and a few trying to develop Sunday. And even a thunderstorm not out of the question as we get into Monday of next week. That's Memorial Day and those temperatures stay warm through a good chunk of the new week ahead. And with the showers and storms on the way and a big holiday weekend where I know people are going to want to get out Outside, make sure you get the KDK weather app. It has this cool alert built into it where it will tell you if there's heavy rain or thunderstorms nearby. It sends an alert right to your mobile device and it's free to search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.